Hey guys, my name is Massimo and today we're going to talk about the MGW short throw shifter I have in my 2013 Mustang GT. So I have the MGW short throw shifter as we said, but I have the standard low profile knob model. So not the X-Spec, not the regular profile knob, the low profile one where it puts the shift knob lower into the car and the standard model so it's not super short. What that all adds up to is about a 19% reduction in throw length from the stock throw length and uh, it's, it's a lot nicer. The short throw shifter, it's pretty notchy, so there's a lot of confidence getting into every gear. And it overall is just a really good shifter. I've had the shifter for about three months now in the car, and I have it paired with MGW's spherical gripper knob with the stainless steel topper and the stainless steel stem. So they're both weighted, and the whole contraption adds up to about eight ounces. And I love the weighted shift knob. It makes going into gears super easy. It kind of just slides into gears using the momentum of you pushing it in. So there's a lot less force needed to get into every gear and that's why weighted shift knobs are just so great and superior in my opinion to regular unweighted shift knobs. This shifter is transmission mounted. It's not linkage mounted like the original stock shifter that you guys have in your cars if you set the stock shifter in. And that's what makes it a little bit more expensive than other options, among other things. My model comes out to about $470 at the time of recording this video. And yeah, that's a little bit more expensive than other short throw shifters on the market but believe me, it's worth it. And we're gonna talk about why throughout this whole video. So I did do the installation of this short throw shifter myself, and the installation's not all that bad. It can be kind of tricky sometimes because there's really not much room between the transmission of your car and the chassis of your car. So it can be a little tricky sometimes getting your hands in there and getting the bolts tightened up and whatnot. But overall, I think it took me around two hours. That's, you know, excluding the time jacking up the car. It'd be a lot easier if you had a lift to work on. But it took me around two hours to get the old stock shifter out and put the MGW short throw shifter in. And uh, that's not too bad in my opinion. So my initial thoughts on this shifter when I first installed it and I got on the road, you know, the first week of driving it is uh, every gear getting into it, it's much more notchy, which I really, really liked because it's more confidence inspiring getting into every gear. You don't have to really guess am I in the gear or not when you're like racing or pulling or anything like that or you're doing a track day. You don't really have to guess. It eliminates that part of it and it's just more confidence inspiring getting into each gear when it's more notchy and you have to put more force into putting it into each gear. But what I found when I installed the shifter is the neutral shaking it is super stiff in the middle. The self-centering mechanism it uses is very stiff, which isn't a bad thing. It's just something to note because most shifters, when you put it in neutral and you shake it around, they're very loose and you kind of feel that it's in neutral. But just something to mention, and I noticed that the throws weren't that much shorter than the stock length. And I guess, thinking about it, 19% isn't that much. But for some reason, I thought it would be a little bit shorter. Uh, but really, now that I'm used to it, that's not a problem. And I noticed the low profile knob height isn't really that low. When I first installed it, I thought it would get really low, like the S550s, some short shifter contraptions. You can get the shift knob pretty low down, and I like that look and that feel of it. Um, and mine, I thought was gonna go sit a little bit lower, but really, again, it's not that big of a problem. It's just something I noticed when I first installed it. So now let's talk about my thoughts about three months after owning this short throw shifter, how I like it, what I think about it. Well, the neutral, like I said, where it's really stiff to shake it in the middle. That's still true, it hasn't loosened up at all. But again, not really that big of a deal. The gears are super notchy to get into still, and I still love that because it's very confidence inspiring getting into every single gear. And the shifter really just feels like a short throw shifter. It's what it should feel like. It's notchy getting into every single gear, and it's definitely daily drivable. I drive this car every single day, and I love the shifter, how notchy it is. That doesn't get annoying daily driving it or anything like that. And it's perfect for track days and racing and whatever you guys want to do with it. It's a great daily driver short throw shifter and it's a great racing short throw shifter. So that's what makes it like king of the short throw shifters for this car for me. Another big thing with the shifter is there's no high RPM lockout. A lot of people say with the stock shifter and other shifters on the market that when they're making a wide open throttle pull, let's say from second to third gear, they experience that lockout when they're trying to shift at like 6,500, 7,000 RPMs. Going into third gear, they experience a lockout and it won't let them go into gear. I've never had that problem with the shifter. And that's one of the key points I think a lot of people say about the MGWs. They're made really well and that high RPM lockout gets eliminated for the most part, if not all the time. I've never had a problem with it and most people that I've seen with an MGW say they don't have a problem with that either. But another thing worth mentioning is that reverse is very stiff. So on these cars, we have the reverse lockout, obviously you have to push down and to the left. Well, sometimes it'll take me two or three times to go into reverse just because it's so stiff and you have to push down so hard. I don't see that as a problem because really, when are you gonna have to get into reverse super quick? Not that often. So to try two or three times once in a while, 
isn't a big deal for me. I don't consider it a problem. I wouldn't really make it a deal breaker for the shifter. Another key aspect of the shifter is it is transmission mounted, not linkage mounted. So the stock shifter uses a linkage and it's mounted to the transmission via that. Now, when you're shifting at high RPMs and stuff like that, that transmission mounted shifter is really gonna come in handy. It's gonna eliminate a lot of that high RPM lockout and things like that. And I believe that's what makes this shifter such a good shifter. And a lot of other shifters on the market that I've seen really don't have that transmission mounted status. And that's why I would go MGW on these cars. So let's talk about why I went MGW over other shifters that are available on the market for this car. Well, I had a 2007 Mustang GT and what I ended up doing to that car was putting an MGW short throw shifter on it. And that ended up being my favorite mod on the entire car. Just nothing else really beat that mod for me. And when I picked up the 5.0, I thought, hey, Let's just pick up an MGW short throw shifter pretty much immediately. And that's what I did. I installed it and I love it on this car just as much as I love it on the 2007 I had. Now, the reason I went with the standard low profile knob instead of going with something like the X-Spec low profile knob where I would get even shorter throws, which I think I would like a little bit better, is I heard on certain YouTube videos that really the X-Spec low profile knob is just too short of a throw. People tend to not like how short it is and how notchy it is to get into every single gear. And so I reached out to MGW myself and I said, hey, what do you guys think about the X-Spec low profile if I were to go that route with the really short throws? And they even told me, yeah, you're probably better off going with a standard low profile because you're gonna get the throw length that is comfortable for daily driving and stuff like that. If this was a full race car, Maybe I would go with the X-Spec low profile and just do that all the time. But with me daily driving the car, I'd rather have something that's maybe a little bit longer in throws and more comfortable for daily driving. So overall, was the MGW short throw shifter worth it? I think you can tell from this video that I definitely think it was worth the money. The shifts are smooth, notchy, and very confidence inspiring and just really comfortable to both daily drive and do poles and racing with on the track and through the canyons and things like that. I do a lot of canyon driving myself and I go to the track every once in a while, I'll do autocross every once in a while, and this MGW has definitely proved its worth on those days. It's really helped out a lot and just making sure I'm in gear every time I shift and things like that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video documenting my experience with the MGW short throw shifter. Check out my channel if you guys want. If this video helped you in any way, leave a like down below, let me know. Anyway, I hope to catch you guys in the next one.